Hello everyone and welcome back to our monthly legacy tournament here at Grilga Games. My name is Mick. I'm one of yours alongside Ben Huang. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Watching match. Watching <laughs> match here. <laughs> uh, Sky Wong, who we saw last round. He is playing a mono blue, uh, mono blue show and tell. Mm hmm. And uh, Glenn is playing a deck close to my heart. It's Grixis, it's Grixis control. control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I describe it as the you know it's it's the it's the German football team. You know, <laughs> Why is it all the, the players are all the cards in the deck are like seven out of tens. You know, <laughs> there's there's no like ten out of tens. But you put means. but you put them all together. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. It's, it's every bad, card right? every card is a the two for one. As <laughs> you see, it's in his hand, it's just I mean, this hand is not even a blue hand, right? It's like got him the Torah, Thoughtseize, Ponder, and Color Guns Command. Oh man, that's yeah. that's actually. That's he's gonna be good, and he's got be ab he'll be yeah. able to play all the spells, right? Yep, he's gonna be able to tear apart uh, Sky's hand. Oh, uh, this and seems like a pretty bad matchup for Sky. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, <laughs> it's it's bad and good in in certain ways because like if he can resolve a show and tell. Yeah, yeah. Well, that and like because you see his hands redundant, so targeted targeted discard like um. Thoughtsies. My Thoughtsies isn't as good. Mm. That and because Glenn is playing this more controlling version of the deck, there isn't pressure. Right. Isn't okay, as much so pressure at least. Okay. So it does give him a lot of time to catch up. So in this in these kinds of scenarios, I actually like keeping any hand. Like you just don't mulligan. Except if you don't have like lands, like, but you know <laughs> in a mono blue deck with like I think he's got like twelve hand trips, you should be able to find lands. Yeah. So well, yeah. But I, I in the blind uh, in the blind in the blind, yeah. I think this was a fine hand, like, I mean, two yeah, Chantels, yeah. the Dream Halls. I can't see that card that's next to the Polluted Delta. So he's going to take the Dream Halls, which is interesting. I guess it's a, it's a he's afraid of uh, pseudo-omniscience. Mm. I think Cunning Wish is really, really powerful in this matchup because of your ability to... So you just get it at the end. Yeah, end get it at the end, right? get Blaster Storm, which means that you wow, don't need oh that yeah. much counter magic, especially okay. if, you know, Glenn's playing... Um, Glenn's playing... Uh, you know, Glenn's playing only Force of Will as his kind of counter counter magic his way to in interact with spells on the stack. Mm. He's gonna fetch. He's gonna get underground uh, C. Something that I I find interesting with a lot of legacy players is the use of fetches before they should be used because he has a ponder right, and you see at the back of his hand he has. Yeah, he could have fired off. I he mean, could like have he used the underground C that he had already right, yeah, and then kept the fetch for the ponder. Yeah. So this is one. He's gonna take the first card. And one, to four, one to four, three. three. So he's gonna discard both cutting wishes. Wow. wow. So no, no point thought seizing them if you can just discard yeah. them with him. Easy, easy game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, that's the old, <laughs> the old <laughs> adage, right? Him, him, I win, right? Like <laughs> you hit your opponent twice, and then he's just gone. Wow, that was that was easy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Glenn, uh, Sky here missing land drops as okay, well. Okay, so I you think. see why he didn't do that. It wasn't underground seed at the back of his hand. It was a volcanic island. So he doesn't. Uh, he didn't have double black and blue at the same time. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I guess that's more, like, permissible. Like, mm. he, he, but no, he had the island in his hand. So that's odd. Like he could have gone Badlands, Himnatora, Island, Ponder, use the fetch to clear, wherever he doesn't want. But this is yeah. you know going to be a slow tickling death from Glenn. He's gonna play a Strix probably. He's got another fetch. Yeah, so you can just fetch again. So yeah, I guess. No, this is his th turn three, right? Yeah, this is turn three. The Sky not... Yeah. Unless Sky missed... Must have been, must have been, that him of Turek must have been like pretty traumatic for you to forget that. Uh, that you miss a land drop. Miss a land drop. Yeah, he didn't even discard a land. He discard his uh, cunning wishes. Like double, double cunning wishes. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How that was pretty so bad. Lucky. Yeah, yeah. So That's when you know you're on tilt, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a second ponder. This is another ponder. So he just he's just looking for more discard or like snapcasters to yeah more discards. Oh, not too bad. Uh yeah, you definitely don't want the edict. I say that I and he puts the edict to the second card. I yeah. I think you might be afraid of like Show and tell I'm Show and tell, yeah. I guess yeah, in a in a pinch that's a, a very short That's a like small But you can put it you can put it right? the, the third card down and then you can keep the fetch uh, in keep play. Keep the fetch right? live, right? And yeah. then uh, if 
if you really do need it, they'll fetch yeah. for it. So this is Inquisition. But he sees the double. So he has. He's forced to take. He's forced to take a uh, sure and tell. Yeah. Which means that you know he, this guy is still alive. Like he can draw a land and then followed by a sure omniscience, tell. which oh he oh just yeah. drew. So he now needs to draw just one land to go off. Why does he keep the land in hand though? Just uh, which afraid land? of the. He just drew a land, right? No, he drew omniscience. Oh, he drew omniscience. Okay, he drew another omniscience. Ooh, so he's gonna Ouch. fetch. Okay. Yeah, I feel like Glenn could have avoided drawing these lands if he had sequenced his cantrips properly. And it's something I guess we talked about the last time we we were on this thing together, right? Mm-hmm. It's just people sequence their people really like you have to think through your yeah, turns, yeah, right? Yeah. Legacy is one of those things right, where like sequencing, like we talk about yeah. it in modern, we talk yeah. about it even in standard. Like sequencing is important. I think uh, legacy, legacy All the very more. much so, yeah. yeah. Because information is, information is also uh, it's a, key. a key, yeah. you know, key factor. So he's drawn Liliana, which is not great in this matchup. I guess if you can take it up until you ultimate, like yeah. But you know, if you could take it up until you ultimate, you could kill him with a, <laughs> you kill him with a spoon. Angler, yeah. <laughs> you could attack him to death with a spoon. And then after that, you've got to wait, right? Yeah, until you get more zombies. So he's trying to land. He's gonna just gonna go for it. He's gonna go show and tell. He's gonna go show and tell. He's just gonna go show and tell. Yeah. Yeah. He's just looks gonna like go show he's gonna and tell. Go okay. He's gonna show and tell omniscience, and then cast um, stifle. Cast oh. into the infinite. And <laughs> like, for your second look, hand. this is a game that Glenn drew like f- three of his best cards: Thoughtseize, Inquisition, and him to Torah. And still couldn't and stop like saw, this guy. Pro- quite probably saw like an average of like nine extra cards between the two ponders, and his fetch lands. Oh no! And he's gonna end the game with three lands in his hand. This is how important select card selection with um, fetches and cantrips are. Sometimes it feels like you should, you should play the cantrip as soon as you can but it really isn't especially you in a matchup yeah. yeah oh no enter the infinite oh so yeah uh, the game the, the, the matchup does get dram- dramatically better post board because then Glenn has access to surgicals red elemental blast fluster storms right okay and you know just and he can get rid of cards like More fatal push and, yeah. and lightning bolt and this that and dark ball edict but yeah um, that Kulligan's command is not going to do much to uh <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make you discard one, one card, card yeah. I guess <laughs> yeah, yeah so I, think I was thinking like yeah maybe if he just kept the Diabolic Edict no no he drew <laughs> this guy would draw his entire deck he's yeah. got all the counter spells now yeah he's going to discard second omniscience uh, it doesn't matter this guy's going to draw his whole deck <laughs> and that would be hilarious if that was an Emraku it discarded the Emrakul, shuffled, shuffled the whole thing back, and then yeah. now, I, now I get my graveyard <laughs> and get, my deck. Now Thank I get you. 56 cards. I guess, <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's how we want to play it. Yeah, he's going to Cunning Wish for Release the Ends. He's going to show his opponent that he has a Release the Ends. And the top guess, card on guess my what deck the top card on my deck is? It's not a 1. <laughs> it's not a 2. <laughs> it's not even a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Try. <laughs> what do you think it is? It's not six. Yeah, so this is I mean, obviously a tough matchup for Quixus game one. But yeah, I, f- I feel like, you know, there definitely could have been situations where, you know He could have like yeah. increased the odds, right? Like yeah, try yeah, to yeah. Get, I try think to he get needed to resolve a second him. So your ponders and selection at that point are looking for a him or a snapcaster. Does uh, does Glenn's deck run Force of Will main board? Yes, the four forces. Okay, then yeah, but trying to find a force there was poor because he didn't have a, he didn't ever have a blue card, right? Yeah, like that's why. So you need to go for you need to get to to like second him mm. to make sure that he his hand isn't like you you left him with those cards like you know he had entered the infinite <laughs> in his hand yeah yeah. yeah yeah so we you can so yeah Glenn you can kind of tell what he's going to sideboard in based on number of cards he's set aside he's mm. got a true name he's got a red blast a second lily so he's got two red blasts he's got three red blasts uh, fluster storms three red blasts well. two fluster storms yeah. he's got two blood moons in his deck which do absolutely nothing against a deck full of uh, <laughs> basic, islands, islands. basic islands yeah mm. and what's the last card probably a marsh casualties at the back of his deck so yeah that's it's going to be oh marsh casualties is interesting yeah, it's, never, yeah, it's a card that beats True Name, that beats, uh, to some uh, some extent, Bitter Blossom. It's pretty good against D&T. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So it's pretty never neat. thought about that. Yeah, so I think you bring in the Needles against the Sneak Attack version of the deck, but not so much against this Mono Blue version. Mm. 
There's nothing I there's nothing really to call, right? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Against sneak attack you have sneak attack and you have uh Arcane Artisan and you have some Jaces sometimes when they play Jace. Mm. Although Jace is the last choice because you don't want to lock out your own Jaces too. And so the needles don't come in, he's bought out a Jace and a lightning bolt. I think that's fair. Like think lightning fair, bolt's yeah. not Lightning Bolt's a great finisher, but yeah. it's not going to be very useful in this matchup. I actually prefer boarding out a Strix. Yeah, I drawing the extra card is like... Drawing the extra card is fine, but the Jace actually is a win condition. And mm. it, it, okay. it creates lines of play, especially with discard, that mean that you can are actually safe. You know, you can... Oh yeah, you can hide yeah. cards on the back, uh, on top of your library. Yeah. You can you can go uh, Totsies. Land him, land Snapcaster Totsies, land Jace, oh seal man. you, untap, bounce your bounce your Snapcaster with your own Jace, Gosh. replay him and play Snap uh, Totsies again. Yeah. Okay. You know, so there's I I actually think the it's Jace more is versatile. Yeah, 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 more versatile than the Strix. Mm. Uh, the Strix is weak, uh, obviously. It's just a two mana cycler. Um. So yeah, and you know when you when when Sky puts uh, Emrakul into play, you're not gonna have your Strix is not gonna <laughs> be able to block. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I think he might have t- hurt me because he he put his he put a Jace back in his deck. <laughs> so uh, yeah, maybe we does. should talk a little bit softer. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. I I I love it when we go like uh, like big tournament, right? Where we have like fifty fifty odd people. Mm-hmm. After that, we go to like quarterfinals. And yeah, quarterfinals, like me and whoever's doing the show, like really have to like, like tone down because the entire day we're like. Wow, yeah. man! What the hell did you? Do? And yeah. then, and then, finally, when we go to the quarterfinals, like, okay, <laughs> tune it down, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a effectively a win and in since it's a cut to top four today. We have only oh fifteen yeah. players. Yep, yep. Yeah, unfortunately, I think it's a combination of the weather and yeah. There's a lot. Of I, I I. It's a PPDQ this weekend. Yeah. There's a lot, but I mean, you a know, lot of people that we don't we usually uh, see here and they're not here. Are you know? not here yeah. yeah. And it's good because like this weekend, all the pros are not in Singapore. Oh, the pros! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Our like boy, those, those he's PPTQ grinders. Yeah, like he's gonna take advantage. Yeah. <laughs> he's in the top eight, man. He's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, and Jin so Hao's happy for him. You know, it's amazing, man. Like it's been a tough year for him. I watched. Uh, you watched him play against uh, Dazani. Yeah. Oh yeah. gosh, I, I watched. Deck was kind of poo. His his deck was insane. Like Jin Hao's. Jin Hao's draft deck was insane. So and then the previous day, like, I mean, like yeah. he's, he's he's playing, playing top well. notch. Getting rewarded. Yeah. So this is Ponder. Um, yeah, you mm, extraction is not too bad here. Uh, I don't know if this is the hand that is going to win, but it's like a very average hand, right? Which is why I said about the, the deck. It's like a team of German footballers. <laughs> it's just all like the cards. Out of yeah, all the cards are decent, but they're not like great, great. They're great at doing like one thing, they're right? Yeah, their yeah, roles. Like they're great at fulfilling their roles. Like one guy does the hitter, like you're the tall one, right? Yeah. yeah, I think he should lay the bad lands here because um, you don't want to be in a situation where you l- you you have to lay the bad lands as your source of red. Mm. Okay. Right, he's gone through all the ponder cards now. So if he draws, for example, uh, red elemental blast here, nope, that's fine. But you see, you you see what the the issue is here, right? He could have cast brainstorm. Uh, and put back the swamp, but now mm, he's kind of yeah, committed. Gonna, yeah. yeah, so he's gonna brainstorm here. He's gonna find more lands. I can put back uh, bloodstain mire and a ponder, so you can put that. But you see, yeah, if he had that bad lands in play, uh, yeah. it would have been a lot better for him. You wouldn't, you wouldn't need to worry. Maybe so it's much, here right? is back to basics out of Sky's deck. Yeah. Oh wow! I don't like putting back another cantrip. I like putting back lands. He's got fetch to this thing, yeah. I mean, putting oh back wow. a cantrip, kind yeah. of. Especially in this situation where your hand is far from optimal. And you just need to sculpt as much as you can. Yeah, he's going to fetch. He's gonna not going to play the ponder, which is interesting. I, Yeah, yeah. I I think the beauty about Legacy is that there's, there's so diverse, right? There's so many, there's lines, so many of play. lines of play. Yeah. There's nothing that's objectively wrong. You know, most times, <laughs> most times. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely interesting. Uh, on yeah, in in all other formats, I mean, like you look at a person's hand, you look at the bot state, like you can very clearly define 
uh, what is the best play yeah. here, right? It's, like, uh, it's decidable, right? Like, yeah. But here, because of so many of the cards actually just redraw your other cards, and so much of the matchups are about positioning and getting the right cards into mm. your hand. Like, there's definitely, you could probably compute what the best way is to see the maximum number of cards. But, but then you have to, yeah. yeah. Then your opponent's just going to do something else, right? Yeah. It's like yeah. So, like this, I don't know if you, I don't know if you lay the, the fetch. I don't know if you lay the land first because you can lay fetch, right? Yeah. Get some information first. So this is brainstorm response. And, uh, and his hand is, his, uh, Glenn's hand is ponder, ponder, fossil will, jace, and surgical extraction. Oh. So he's Sakai's gonna put back this Layla on Sanctity because he can not cast it ever. <laughs> but you, it's a very scary. What card does he want to for a deck with uh against a deck with discard right? Because yeah. the deck with discard all that targeted discard and if they have ley lines you can't target them at all. Mm. Yeah, it's there's very no very way. Scary. I mean, like there's no you way can't for force Glenn it. to yeah. You know. to yeah, you can't force it, and there's no way for Glenn to interact with the ley line. Yeah, being a quick sister. So this is yeah. Sky what do you want to protect? I, mean, those I don't know if he's protected anything because this is a this is a uh it's just an okay hand. Yeah. Well, this is a this is a Inquisition too, so he can't take um he can't take Dream Halls. He can't, can't take, take the Omniscience. He can't take um Enter the Infinite. He can take the Fluster Storm, which I mean, like if you were going to take the Fluster Storm, you should have just like fired it off, right? Yeah, but he can take the AK here, which is pretty bad, but you know. <laughs> it's, it's what I, I, I would take the plus to stop, right? Yeah, like I know. I know he cards. put back a uh, ley line, so that's the second card down, right? We the yeah. question is whether or not he hit a force or will. Oh, sorry, he hit a show and tell in the that's, a, oh, that's in the, the first card from card, the top. Yeah. But I don't know if you dare to go for show and tell there. He's got too much. Uh, Glenn's got too. Actually, much no, it's fine. Open. See, you can actually go show and tell. Your opponent has force. And then he forces, and then you untap. You play a fifth land. And you play uh, dream Halls. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, you've got five lands now. Okay. Yeah. And because Dream Halls and you just got enough to to cast the yeah. omniscience. And because well. he plays Dream Halls, the surgical isn't that good, right? Mm. Well, normally against a, a show and tell deck, if you show if you cast show and tell, you counter and then you you surgical the show and tell. Then he's got no other ways to cheat his like, you know massive enchantments into play, right? Yeah. But in this situation. Because he's oh got um Dream yeah Dream Halls as a kind of backup show and tell or like a budget uh, budget on this uh, yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so Glenn's got him pretty well covered. There's a lot of redundancy like yeah. In his hand, yeah. So I think and I th I th what do you uh, if you're Glenn what do you take do you take the fluster I take the fluster I take the fluster yeah yeah because you you lose so hard to you lose so hard to show and tell I guess there's no I guess you can pay for it right. Because if he if he goes show and tell you play force and then he plays faster then you can still pay three, mm. but that means you waste your whole turn. Mm. Yeah, so you can take the AK instead, which is, wow, yeah, it's an AK for one. So what's Glenn gonna play this thing? He's gonna he's gonna surgical the AK. Sell? Oh no. The brainstorm. I think he's gonna surgical the AK, right? Yeah, I maybe yeah, just yeah. to force his opponent to shuffle. Yeah. But because he's surgicaling the AK, Sky now has the option to play the Fluster Storm in the surgical. Right? Oh, that's four, yeah. Okay. Which means that... Oh, he's going to pay. He's going to force. Wow. I, I don't know what... Wow. He's going to force one he's of He's going to force the one copy. And why does he want to... Why does he want to do this so badly? It's It seems terrible. I want to see what's on top of... What's on top of... Yeah, I really want to see what's on top of this deck. D hide a show and tell. Okay, okay, we're gonna get to see it maybe. I think that's why Glenn thinks that. No, he really wants to right, shuffle. Yeah. He really wants to shuffle. Okay, let's see what's the top. No, top card was oh, Emrakul. Emrakul. So he was gonna shuffle anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That was kind of weird. That was the craziest thing I've seen. <laughs> One of the craziest things I've seen on the stream. I mean, it's like double. I, I've seen a lot of crazy things. You know, I've seen people, you know. It's Kill it's someone out of nowhere with two <laughs> knights of the reliquary. <laughs> I've seen um, people forget their vials, their silver no, libraries. You, you I've seen people attack with baleful strictures with when they shouldn't. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but th that's the thing. Like you might you just play like mind games with your opponent. Yeah. Right? So it looks true. like looks like Sky is like. So no, Sky don't lay that. So now he's he's laid a land that if Glenn is attentive, knows he he knew that his opponent didn't have in his hand to start with. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is Jace. This is why I think Jace is good. Quote unquote, mm. because um, 
it's it can, a win condition, right? Yeah. So he should st- should storm here, but he's gonna seal instead. I think with your opponent having a fetch in play, you just put whatever card it is, you put it on top. <laughs> you just roll with it. <laughs> you just, just confidently like it. look at it and you put it down. You don't think too long. You know, thinking too long will mean that you're trying to sell the bluff too much. Oh you, know, but yeah. <laughs> you just put yeah, the so card. Sky, Sky just like next level glare. Yeah, it's like trying to, to 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 show off his. his <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he's actually pushing. So Sky doesn't have to use this. So this is gonna be. I think Sky's gonna. Oh, he's gonna fetch. He's mm. gonna see what see what Glenn is afraid of, which is a cunning wish. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. It's good information. Um, but yeah, I mean, he gets to untap, lay a land, play Dream Halls. Do you have another force? Yeah, you have another force. That's cool. And then hopefully, hopefully, get a you know, show and tell. But even then, like. At any point in this chain, he can draw his own force and then he's off to the races, right? Mm. Does he have enough cards in his hand? He's got four, four cards left? I guess he doesn't have enough. He can't force well and dream horse. Oh, yeah. that's pretty bad. He can't, it's like... that bad. But he's going to he's gonna run this into... A, yeah, he's going to dream horse. His opponent's going to force. He's going to read it again. I think for, like, the third time this <laughs> match. <laughs> What does this do again? What I still don't figure out what this card does. Nice. I think I should force it. Yes. Explain to me. I please. force it. It's cool. My opponent has omniscience and uh, enter the infinite in his hand. He'll be he'll be able to cast omniscience. Now he just needs to chain chain his draws. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna draw him. Oh wow. Okay. Wow. If he hits two of his gas cards and leaves him with two deltas, this game. That's that's gonna be really bad. Number one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's yeah, okay. One, okay. Is it gonna be two blue cards? Holy crap! Oh it's two blue cards. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was that was easy. <laughs> you know why they say okay. him, him, I win, right? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know. I mean, like, he doesn't know what's the other card in Sky's hand. Oh, he's sealing his opponent right. and pushing. Wow. All right, tickle you to death with my baleful Strix. He's drawn a spell pierce, which is terrible. That's the thing. Now Sky has enough mana to. Oh wow! Like he just drew it blast. Cast. So he just can keep sealing. Wow. Oh my god, dude! Just leave it on top. He's got a fresh land in play. He's not even attacking with the Strix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sealed two straw and tails at the bottom. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it matters That's too much because his opponent needs to draw yeah. both. Yeah, show and tell. Combo and part A and combo yeah. part B, you know. And um, even omniscience isn't. I mean, you have blast. So if he show and tells and you have, he puts omniscience in play. And then you. And if he has no other cards, you can just blast the omniscience. Yeah. And if he has, if he has Emrakul, you can just bounce it with Jace. Mm. So I don't think you're too worried. But he doesn't know the rest of the contents of Sky's hand, I guess. Yeah. So he's gonna draw. I think this is the way you might brainstorm. Because he's not even attacking. What <laughs> is that on top of my deck? Is it a land? Uh, I guess. I don't know. I land. guess we'll never know. It's another oh, land. It's yeah. So Glenn, Glenn, Glenn is an honest guy. He just plays it straight. Like, this is good information to know. <laughs> like, when he seals you, you know, and he leaves on top, it's a bad like card. It's a bad card. <laughs> it's a bad card. He's not going to, like, try and mess with you. <laughs> Damn, man. You got to have, like, yeah. that poker face, man. Yeah. Yeah, but I I've never played with like Jace in a competitive setting. Oh yeah, so okay, I've okay. Got, uh, yeah, I played I, standard the one nationals where you could play Jace and Stoneforge Mystic. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. play it. Yeah. I went twelve three. I think. Holy yeah. smokes! The card was the card is not fair. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> like you can cast Quadrant Hawk, put him all in your hand, and then yeah, and then. <laughs> so I think he hasn't covered like twenty ways to Sunday. Uh today being Sunday because he has red blast in his hand he just fades his opponent he put it at the bottom his hand is does he just ultimate I think you leave a fetch because wow he just drew he just draw show and tell he just drew show and tell nice yeah so your sky you just cast the value show and tell here you see the red blast confirming that your opponent indeed has red blast in his sideboard and then you can concede are you thinking about not countering this that's insane <laughs> I th- he will counter the... S- I, I don't think... I oh, don't he think actually he has Emrakul. Yeah. I don't think you let this go, I don't think right? you can let this go, right? 
Like, dude. There's no way you let this go. <sighs> this has does to be. It, this has to be the easiest rip blast of anybody's life, <laughs> because he knows there's a put one. Yes. Okay. Right. Thank you. <sighs> oh. Whew. Whew. Yeah, we got there, boys. <laughs> If you're, if you're Sky, you just play the spell yeah. PSA and hope your opponent says, I don't pay. The misclick, the, yeah. the real life misclick. I'm going to spell PSU. You, you want to pay? Okay. Okay, yeah, I guess I concede then. It's going to Jace Doesn't Ultimate. Doesn't he just here. like Jace Ultimate right yeah. now? And then like Sky only has like two cards. Yep. Yeah, okay. So that's the game. That's game two. Game three <laughs> is coming up. Oh, that was wow. that was cute. That was this is interesting. Yeah, I I think you know Sky was always on the back foot. Uh, yeah, I think the you know the hymns were very yeah, very good to Glenn. Oh, so so powerful. And like the only two guest cards, and like you just take them, right? Yeah, <gasps> yeah. Like yeah, you saw that if he had taken the lands and Sky had drawn the cards that he did, you know, that would just be game over. Yeah, it'd be different, like, right? Like. Obviously, he had, his opponent had double force. And look at Sky. Sky's boarded out his forces. He's also boarded oh out no. Ponder, which I really disagree with. I don't think you should ever board out your cantrips. <laughs> <in this matchup. laughs> yeah. All right. So well he's out taken out spell pierce wow. for the I don't really like boarding out cantrips, especially Ponder, because you can hide cards with Ponder. Mm. You can push your 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 show and tells further down to protect it from discard. Yeah. You know. You do all sorts of crazy things. You can. Yeah. I mean, like brainstorm, brainstorm and ponder, right? Like this, these two cards, yeah, they have exactly. to come together, right? If you're playing one, I mean, they don't have to, but they should, right? Like what in in this deck? Yeah, right, what else deck, is yeah. better in your deck that you? Sure, you want AKs, you know. You probably don't want intuitions in your deck after you see surgical. Oh yeah, yeah? that's true. That's yeah, true. Yeah. So, that there's that. Uh, yeah. Hey, it's getting kind of boring for two of us to. Just talk about legacy ourselves. <laughs> Missed this. Oh no. Missed this. Oh, oh okay. okay. You can still come in and join us. <laughs> yeah. Just chill. Just, just chill. chill watch some yeah. games. It's, it's only it's round three. Yeah. We've still got like one more round and, and then, then the top, the four. top four. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, cool. doesn't seem like Desmond. I don't know. Did Desmond win the last round? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. could have a we could have a, a different Upset, champion yeah. this time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it could be Sky. Sky it could, could be, literally yeah. have shown up and like, like dream crush. Destroy, yeah. I would love to see Sky play Desmond next round and dream crush him. Oh. Like, you want an ID? No. <laughs> <laughs> Eat that. Do you want an ID? No. <laughs> no, Desmond, like, no, Desmond, Desmond doesn't no, even no ask. Respond, yeah, Desmond doesn't respond. even ask. <laughs> yeah. He just says like, ah, I know you're here for me. <laughs> I'm just going to play. There's no response. You want an ID? It's like just continue mm. shuffling. Like, so keep shuffling. Table, keep shuffling the cards. <laughs> like lays out seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Grixis. Uh, did you not see the Facebook post? Grixis, a great deck. Hard to play. I think yeah, there's a lot of decision points. Yeah, but Glenn's on the play right now. Uh, no, uh, Sky's, sorry, on, Sky's, Sky's on, the play. on the play right now. And like he has the op ability to just turn Like to launch his opponent and just go like, Haha! Yeah. <laughs> ha. I, I gotcha. I gotcha again. He can mulligan. It like looks like he's gonna mulligan now. His hand is pretty bad. Oh, his hand is Boseju. Is that Boseju? Boseju, three three fetches and a ponder. Mm. Oh, is it Boseju? I don't like laying the Boseju right away. Yeah, because uh, your know, show and tell is gonna come down. Yeah, plus you can anyway. play two ponders in the span the span of time that you play. You you can play land and play land Boseju and then play Boseju ponder, right? Mm. And here your opponent now knows that he needs to sculpt his hand to find discard and not, like, you know, permission. Like, what if your opponent kept, you know, rare mental blasts and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. 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 I don't even like Baseju in this matchup too much. I don't think it's too much of a factor. It's you a little bit slow. You can probably pick his hand apart. Yeah. Yeah. Like this, if this is a thought seize. Oh, this is a ponder. Uh. Okay. Yeah, see, so now he's going to pass on any red blast. Right, he knows that he, he kept anglers in. Wow. Interesting. He's going to draw a fetch too. Wow. I think he feels like he can probably yeah. like slow down the game enough. He needs to clock his opponent. Yeah, and then that you wow. you know it's just four turns, just yeah. four turns. I don't know. I I feel like I would just c focus on not dying <laughs> <laughs> and just <laughs> disrupting my opponent's hand as much as possible. So he kept the lands because he needs his hand is land light. 
I guess. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So he's gonna be able to play. Yeah. What's his next? What's his next turn? His next turn is odd, right? It's, oh, it's it feels like it's, it's, it's flusterstorm, but his flusterstorm is terrible against his opponents. Uh. Yeah, he's gonna play ponder. One of the few things that he can force a roll left is beam holes, cutting wish. Is the ponder. Oh uh, yeah, Glenn Snakes then what? The Billful Strix, maybe? Yeah, he's gonna shuffle. This guy's gonna shuffle because he's looking for I think he wants to find Brainstorm. Because Brainstorm's the the best way to improve his hand is to, to push some of those fetches. Right, right. right. Um and failing which he, he wants to find obviously his combo cards. But Brainstorm is so good because it lets you hide your combo cards from from your opponent's uh, right. disruption too. And yeah, he's right now he doesn't have oh man, so he's, he's got, got some like time. all the lands, man. Yeah. Glenn knew he was gonna draw this land, so now he needs to decide whether he wants to draw the last card, which is also a land. No, no, it's like some other. He's gonna surgical his opponent's ponder, and this is why Sky should have played ponder on turn one because oh no, now his okay. hand is gonna yeah, get picked apart. Yeah. Did he have a second ponder in hand? Oh, he didn't. It was a it was omniscience. Wow. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's not that that's bad. Not so bad. Yeah. yeah. But all the more, right? Like if you if hmm, like your turn one turn one yeah. ponder the you know, try then to maybe the Poseidon comes down later, right? Because you you want to be able to go ponder fetch. Yeah. I guess. This is interesting, yeah. So I know why you know why we know why Glenn plays that played this surgical, right? Because he's got Snapcaster. Mm. Yeah, so he, once he has the information he knows whether or not and if he doesn't actually really need that that extraction, he can always snapcaster it back. So this day, I think he's going to feel that it's, it's safe for him to tap out and play Strix. And he needs to get going through his deck to find more discard. If not, his yeah, that Boseju is going to matter at some point. Yep. Yeah, so he's just looking through his opponent's deck, figuring out what what yeah, the more the interaction he yeah. has. He's got two ley lines only. Oh, it's just two ley lines in the sideboard. Three? Yeah. Three maybe? Yeah. Checking. I think he's got, what, three ponders now? He might have taken might have taken one out. He took a ponder out, yeah. So Which is interesting. That's like why there's the double check there. Yeah. But oh my god, Sky's hand. Less <laughs> land and the infinite. Well yeah. you guys again, one, two, three, four. Oh, he's one nine short of uh, omniscience. <laughs> like just hard cast omniscience. At eight mana. At eight mana. Omniscience is ten mana, dude. Oh sheesh! <laughs> Omniscience is ten mana. What am I thinking? Hey okay. man, I had like dig through time. Sheesh. <laughs> so he's gonna fetch. Probably play that Strix <laughs> and start the long, the slow it journey towards like poking his opponent to death. Tickle you to death. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. The the shuffle and that ponder was kind of loose. I think he he got in. Mm. He could have gotten the um. Could have gotten the cunning wish. The cunning wish gets intuition. I guess intuition is bad against surgical, but you know you didn't know. Well, but you saw Surgical last game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't know that he has it this game, right? Mm. So he's drawing with the Strix. He's going to tap. If he draws Brainstorm, this is perfect. No, he draws Leyline of Sanctity, dude. Uh, That's like the worst card ever. never be able to cast that. Unless he fetches like two basic, two Tundras and he's like... <laughs> it's like, yeah, uh, look at yeah. me now. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's got, I mean, like... He's going to attack. He's got the lands for it. Oh, this is Angler. So you can actually Angler here. I think you angler here, like you've got you've got your fossil wheel back up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. Oh, oh, he doesn't want to angler here. Might want to keep the you know, might want to keep the surgical, surgical extraction. Yeah. Uh, in the graveyard. If he does, then he can angler next turn, I guess. Mm. But he he's got no fetch. He right? had no. A no fetch. Yeah. Uh, this game is just no. This is legacy, I guess. At some point too, right? The cards don't match up well, so you're just getting beat down by a one-one for like <laughs> sixteen turns. <laughs> so he's joined into the infinite <sighs> to go with his uh, Lena Sanctity. All right. So he's still a little That's bit away from from casting the cards that he needs. Uh, yeah. And yeah, but I mean, another like snapcaster. If so, if he's just getting beaten down by like one-one, yeah, it's okay. I think you can afford to snapcaster. Ponder here, right? And keep up the uh, fluster storm. And keep up fluster storm, and you have force pitching fluster if he has dream halls. Mm. Nope. Yeah. We were wrong. Maybe you want to discard the 
So you discard. You clear oh no. your opponent's hand before you. No? Yeah. Okay. I'm curious. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um, you know. You might want just more mana. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, yeah. More mana on the battlefield. So well, if you wanted more mana, this is a good turn to, to ponder. try and set up more mana next turn, right? Yeah. Like uh, pondering next turn is. Yeah. I don't know. Your opponent has more looks at fresh cards. Another into the infinite. Oh, that's that is really unlucky. Like Sky has yeah. just been getting really, really bad. Oh yeah, well he just draw the land by itself. Doesn't draw matter. Whatever. Easy like game. <laughs> um, you can play the you can play the Snapcaster Ponder here. Oh, he's just gonna fetch an angler. Okay. That okay. Seems legitimate. So this is. Gonna I think then speed it leaves up, the up quite a bit. Yeah. Leaves up enough mana for like Snapcaster. No, it doesn't, uh, right? Because you had to leave that card One, two, in the three. graveyard. Oh, you it seven mana. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it leaves it leaves enough for Snapcaster Surgical. Four, five, six, seven, seven mana. Yeah, yeah seven mana. Seven it leaves mana enough for, for Snapcaster yeah. Surgical and leaving the Surgical in the graveyard. Yeah. So this is now a still a three turn clock. Doesn't mm. change too much. I guess he activates the Boseju once and there's a two turn clock. Ouch. Yeah. So I mean, like you wouldn't, right? Yeah. Unless unless you're gonna, you're confident you're gonna win, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna draw. I think everything starts with Ponder, but he's drawn oh. for the strand. Uh, put it to Delta again. Yeah. So, Clan's gonna win. Really, yeah, just really From poor opponent. sequence of draws. Yeah. yeah. His opponent is very unfortunate for Sky. He can still draw Brainstorm. Like, Sky can still draw Brainstorm. Any point in this game, he can draw Brainstorm, and his hand completely changes, right? Yeah. <laughs> draw three cards. Who thought that was a good idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Who, who ever thought that was a good idea? He he's thinking about playing an end step snapcaster on his opponent's like delta or something, so he can put him on a two turn clock. But he's I got double snapcaster, right? I just like <coughs> snapcaster for <coughs> no value. Yeah. Even, yeah, I won't do anything. Wow. Okay. <coughs> Is he gonna go up to the strand? <coughs> wow. Is that Omniscience? Next to the City of Traders? It is, right? Oh, yeah. So if he draws show. Four, five, six. If, if he draws show, he's dead, right? Oh, yeah. Because he can just Boseju the Omniscience. Yep. Uh, Boseju the, the show. The, and tell, the show yeah. and tell, sorry. Yeah, the show and tell puts Omniscience into play. Uh, he has. Force of will for the first one. He has force of will for the first uh ended infinite. The yeah, fluster storm is not enough. Like, yeah. First storm's not enough, right? Because he <laughs> I guess I guess if if Sky lays the wrong land, then it then'll be enough, right? Because he goes force he goes show and tell. He goes omniscience, he goes force of will. Yeah, he's played three spells that turn. Now Glenn doesn't have Oh no. Is this end uh, this is end step, right? This end step, yeah. Oh okay, okay. So <coughs> Yeah, yeah, I think I think he has it covered both ways. Mm. So even if he makes no, a plus mistake, storm, plus is something enough. No, one, not two, enough, three. right? Because if he lays a basic, he, la he lays the fetch, he goes three, then he has three mana open. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it's, it's enough. not enough. Isn't it? Yeah, it's not. Oh well, no, he needs a fetch. It goes to four, right? So then it's gonna be show one, force two. Oh, force two and uh, enter infinite. It's, it's two. Yeah, yeah, two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, so that's five mana. Yeah, it's not enough. So he has it covered. There's no way he's gonna lose. Unless he forces with Flusterstorm. That's the only way he's gonna lose, right? Uh, <laughs> Wait no 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 no. If he if if he if he lays City of Traders he can he can win, right? No. Three, four, no. No, you need five. You need, you need five. five. <coughs> That's one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and he's he has snap fluster. Oh he man, yeah. Fluster, Glenn's yeah. Glenn's gonna Glenn cover knows his opponent's hand, yeah. Mm. So it's gonna go yeah, this guy's gonna go down. The Ouch. the dream of dream crushing Desmond might not play out. Oh man! Oh, he, no, that this is gonna. This is how he's gonna dream crush him. He's gonna, like, lose gonna, this, gonna he's gonna lose this run. He's gonna go to two one. Then he's gonna meet <laughs> Desmond <laughs> the next round. He's gonna dream crush him. He's gonna be like, you wanna you wanna ID? You wanna like, ID me? to get no. in the top four? No, no. no. this is Hard not no. happening. This is. Okay. I came. So I came here. Oh, he drew the throw and tell. Oh. He didn't lay a land. Okay. All right. He didn't lay a land yet. He doesn't lay a land yet. He doesn't yeah. lay a land yet. He doesn't lay a land yet. Oh 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 oh. Wait, interesting. If if you're if you're if you're Sky, if you're Glenn, do, do you fluster storm the show and tell for f 
for nothing just so you can put your Snapcaster into play and give it flashback? Because you, you put... Oh, you that's add, too you add, you add Storm that's to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can play around your opponent. Oh, man. No, that's no, but brilliant. It doesn't matter because he knows his opponent's exact hand. So now he now he just has to put like fucking... Sorry, I... <laughs> he, just he just needs to, to put bleep. He just, has, he just has to put he just has to put City of Traders into play and then he can cast the second one, right? Enter. Uh, so force, yeah. Show, oh, enter, yeah, force, yeah, yeah, yeah. enter, storm. Then he can pay five. Oh, he's going to pitch the snap. He's pitching the snap. Okay, this guy. Lay the City of Traders. Lay the City of Traders. Actually, no, Lay, no! no. Mate! He needs to lay the city of so he can pay yeah. for the faster storm. Uh, he has three cards left in his hand. No, but city of traders, <laughs> fetch land, and um, lay land of sanctity. So I mean, like Glenn, Glenn could just easily play around there, right? He's got, he still got diabolic edict in hand. Just edict you, you sacrifice nothing. And yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course, of course. But but he he could play. You sh- he could play to to make this happen, right? Like. <laughs> Oh my word! I think Glenn's just like worried. Okay, so what's he I doing? He's, he's going to yeah, edict first. He's going to edict first. first. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But he should have laid that land first. Regardless, right? If your opponent's if the card in his hand was a blank, and all you knew, all you were playing around was Fluster Storm. But he knows about the city of traders. Like he's not gonna. Did he say? Did he? he oh, I don't think he saw it earlier. He did. He did. He saw did it after. He saw it after surgical. Oh. When okay. he surgical end of turn. All right. So Fluster Storm you for six. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. And there's a Whoa. The dream crush is alive, uh, guys. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, we have to. I mean, like, we've seen we've seen like Sky like two two games in a row. But if that's like Sky and Desmond, we have to put them on. It's like grudge match time, yeah. baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, we're going to go for like a ten minute break. We'll be back with round number four. Uh, but before we go, just want to remind you, you can join us on the stream, twitchtv games. Uh, on every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Singapore time. Oh, uh, support Tae Jin Hao. Yeah, support Tae Jin Hao. Uh, tonight, we'll be watching him on the top eight. Uh, starts at 8 p.m., I believe. Eh, no, no, it starts at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Singapore time. 10 p.m. Singapore time? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 9... Uh, is it 8 a.m.? No, 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 it's one per match. One match, this thing. So, maybe Jin Hao's match is not at, at oh, 9. Oh, so it's going to be like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play like four ma- four. Seven, uh, seven, seven games. No they can play one whole day. Of course, ah. Uh. Otherwise, what? Bohua, Bohua, leh. Like a yeah, exactly. <laughs> Otherwise, Bohua, you, you rent the hall for the entire day. Oh. And then you don't use the hall for the entire day. So, yeah, uh, twitch.tv slash games, twitch.tv slash magic tonight. Um, YouTube.com slash games for replays. And our, you know, Facebook, Twitter... Instagram page and uh, yeah, our home on the web, com. If you are interested in gri- the Grilga Games Invitationals, which I hope you are, uh, because there's still time for you to become a champion. Five thousand dollars up for grabs, people. All right, uh, we'll be back, so don't go away. <laughs> <laughs>